Microsoft Ads Tutorial Step by Step. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Microsoft advertising. Microsoft is still the second largest browser and having your ads run on Microsoft can be a great way to bring about more brand exposure without having to pay high fees. So how can you get started with advertising on Microsoft? Well, to do that, you will have to go into Microsoft advertising. Now with Microsoft advertising, you are able to create a new account to manage Microsoft ads as well as import from Google ads or meta ads. Now I have already logged on to my Microsoft account over here. But if you don't have one already, you can simply create your Microsoft account. Once you have created your account, you're simply going to click on create account to start creating your Microsoft advertising account. So I'm just going to click on the blue icon, which is for Microsoft advertising. And after that, we are going to add our country as well as the language that we want to use to advertise our business in. Then click on next over here. Once you click on next, you are going to provide a business URL. So for me, I want to provide my Shopify stores URL because that is the business that I want to promote. So for that, I'm just going to log into my Shopify account to copy my store URL. So I'm just going to open this up and then from here I can copy my store URL and then paste that over here. Once you have pasted that, click on next. And once you click on next, you are able to choose the experience that will help you achieve your goals. Whether you want to create your account and campaign or if you just want to get started with your account only, and later on want to set up your own customized specific campaign. Now we want to get started with our account and our first campaign as well. So simply check the first option and then click on next. Once you click on next, your account for Microsoft advertising will be created. Now, once your account is created, it's time to start setting up your campaign. Now, in your campaign, you will see different ways that you can review your ads. You can provide your assets such as images and text, which will automatically determine what your ads look like and how and when they appear. You can also choose who uses or sees them, and they try to ensure that your ads have optimal asset combinations to make sure that anyone viewing the ad from any perspective has a good grasp on the products that are being promoted. Now, currently with Microsoft, you are able to customize your recommendation assets. And below that, you also have recommended images as well as a bunch of different copyright that you have to fill out. So I have already inserted my Shopify store URL, and now I can add upwards of 20 images. I'm going to click on this plus icon and we can click on website images and import from our website or we can also use stock images. So I'm just going to pick out a couple of different stock images from here like so. And once you have completed your stock images, it's time to add your short headlines. Now to add your short headlines, you're going to enter certain headlines like this which are recommended by ai let's say i want to do dress to impress affordable chic and budget friendly styles below that we can also add a alternative heading and to do add to do so we can click on add a headline to add another headline if we so prefer now one thing you want to note is that even with the AI generated content, you can alter it and make it more customized. So I want to add affordable elegance for everyone like this, but this is a bit too long. I think affordable elegance is going to work fine for our headline. Then below that, we also have some recommended headlines and longer headlines. So I'm going to add a few of the AI recommended headlines. And we can add alternative longer 
content as well. Keep in mind that your content is going to be accessible in multiple different combinations. So to view those combinations, you can go into the right panel and you can go into the next section. Once you do, this will allow you to actually see what your campaign is going to look like. And once you're able to see your campaign style, you will know what type of content is working and what type of content is not working for your personal campaign creation. Now below that, you're going to see the option to add different descriptions. Click on this to type in your own descriptions or you can also select from the drop down. And you have some recommended descriptions you can include like this. And I'm gonna remove this one. And once completed, I will add my business name and then click on next. Once you set up your basic content for your advertisement campaign, you can go on ahead and start adding location tags as well as audience signals. So what type of audience are you looking for for your ads? Let's say I want to add a audience that is focused on uh, fashion design and personal care. Let's say my audience is also going to be interested in apparel and accessories. And let's say they're also going to be interested in beauty products. And so hair care products, bath and, you know, bath and body products. And once I've done that, I can click on next to set up my targeting as well as choose the preferred demographics that I have. Now, once we've done that, we can see the budget for our campaign. So over here, we're able to select a currency. So I can select USD like so. And then we can add a daily budget that we have. You will see that there is 0 0.05 is the minimum daily limit that you have to set when you are trying to set up ads on Microsoft Bank. And below that, you also have a bidding strategy. So this allows you to manage your daily budget a bit more easily. Click on next over here and complete your payment information to proceed with your Microsoft Ads account. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video